Frida's here now. This is a remarkable drama. It's what we're saying. It looks Thank like you. a movie. Mm -hmm. It's very cinematic, doesn't it? Mm. For you to get offered a part like this, what, what was it you thought to yourself, I, I can't not do this? You know, this has to be done. Well, two things. Uh, the first is John Ridley, who is a creator, director of this, of this series, of this mini-series. It's, it's six episodes. Yeah. Um, and of course, he's such a talent. And it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege for any actor to be working mm -hmm. with him. So yeah. I really wanted to do, do, tell the story. And of course, this is a what if drama. You know, it's, it's not a, it's fictionalized. The characters are fictionalized, but it's set against the backdrop of real political events. Do you feel it's very relevant now? Because watching it, um, some of the issues that were raised, you sort of think this could actually happen. This right. is happening now, that's right. the thing. There's a certain timelessness yeah. um, uh, when it comes to this issue in general and it almost feels cyclical in a way it's happened before it's happening right now and then you ask yourself is it going to continue happening mm -hmm. or are we going to be learning from history are we going to be taking notes from what has happened and what our forefathers really fought for um, so yes there is a we're definitely not gorilla is not aimed at a uh, at, at some kind of a comment on what's happening right now mm -hmm. in current history in current times but it definitely um, is timeless and there are certain things that my character says as well that I just find oh my god I find myself saying this as you say it's it's fictionalized but yeah. it's based on truth True. and I think yeah. in Britain maybe there's this attitude of oh yeah well that happened in America you know we saw the horrible segregation we you know yeah. all of that and that we kind of we, we were better than that yeah. but actually yeah, we were in many yeah. ways, but there still was a problem. Right, still no. a problem. People still had to fight. People still had to battle through that. And Absolutely. indeed still are. And I, you know, had uh, the opportunity of working with two real life gorillas. Um, Doc is how who sadly passed away. It is a really good drama. You know, all of this is going on. Yeah. But this isn't a worthy drama. Do you know what I mean? You get really engrossed in it. And it's you for do. everyone. It's for absolutely it's everyone. It's true, it? because at the end of the day, you know, yes, like we've discussed, it's set against a political backdrop, sure. but we are really telling a love story between Jazz and Marcus. Mm. Um, whenever you have uh, politically rife situations, or even in war, in refugee situa situations, these are not just like numbers people are not just numbers or they're not just a color. Mm. They're real people with real exactly. human stories. Exactly. Uh, and that's why John Ridley was the perfect mm. person to come on board and, and, and do the story. Yeah, he really tells a great human story about the tensions and fears that people have um, in situations like this. Well, we can see it on Friday, it's on Sky Atlantic yes, um, yes. and now as well. And we can see it on Friday, you can download, which is what I love to do. Yeah, all just six in one go. Download them and then just binge. Yeah, and, and this is the kind of series that you Hopefully, I'm saying yeah. this obviously because I'm part of it, sure. but uh, you would want to know more. Um, of course. Yeah, in real time. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know, we were just saying, I can't believe it's nearly 10 years ago since yeah. Slumdog, and you haven't changed it a bit. You went up for to be a Bond girl, or a Bond woman, as I like to call them. I don't like to call them Bond girls. I like to be Bond women. Didn't get it, but actually took that as an experience to say, well, you know, I didn't get that one, but... Hey, something else would be actually, the corner. I, I, actually, very philosophical about it. <laughs> actually, that's a rumour. I did not. Was it not true? It's not true at I'm all. I'm so glad that you're here and you can you can put that no, to rest. No, I can totally put that to rest. That was a total rumour. Because you'd be you'd be a brilliant Bond woman. Oh, thank you, thank you. But you know, thank you. You would. But I think back in um, uh, what happens is you know I just come onto the scene with Slumdog Millionaire, and right, I'm, right, right. this is what I hear is with any actress who or any actor who just gets like their first bit of fame, the Bond rumour is almost <laughs> like an is is initiation ceremony. In your money. contract. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> must, this rumor must this, happen. This rumor That's must hilarious. happen. Really? So That's it happened bad. and it went away now. It was flattering. But, you know, to be really honest, uh, I was 24 years old when Slumdog yeah. um, uh, came out and I would have felt totally out of my depths doing, playing a Bond girl. Um, now I'm actually a lot more aware of what I want to do in film and what I don't want to do. And I wouldn't want to play a Bond girl if she did not have her own voice. Exactly. Or yeah. just play Bond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just play Bond. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because why yeah. shouldn't there be Female a Bond, Bond of woman? Course. I think it would be fantastic. Absolutely. I really would. We're better at investigating anyway. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I think the work that you do, um, I think for, for women's rights as well is fantastic. Please keep doing that because the more voices we have against things like FGM um, and, and equality and all sorts of are so so important thank you and we'll put all the details in and how to see get in our website and thank you for coming thank on you. thank great you great to so see much. you